Hi everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shearer. In this training video, we're going to go ahead and walk you through the journey of locator fixed exocad alignment, where we have an intraoral scan of a patient with locator scan bodies in place, and we've also subsequently made a reference denture scan over the top of just the locator abutments. 360 scan the reference denture and then scan the opposing and the bite. For that technique, make sure you check out other videos on this YouTube channel for more information on, on the step-by-step -step of how to do that technique. In our specific step-by-step -step protocol in this video, we're going to utilize ExoCAD to now merge the intraoral scan to the scan of the reference denture. Let's go ahead and jump right in. On our computer software, we're going to go ahead and make sure first that we have our scan files in the correct folders. So right here, I've got my patient labeled with a few different folders. I have the reference denture scan, which has the patient's edentulous denture opposing, and then also the reference denture. So this is the patient's immediate denture with my locator abutments in place. 360 scan, and those two scans are in occlusion. So on my intraoral scanner, I made a 360 degree impression scan of the reference denture, a scan of the opposing, and then put the reference denture back in the mouth and then scan a bite on each side. Additionally, what we have is this is we have the second scan, which is the intraoral edentulous scan of the same patient with scan bodies in place. Let's go ahead and jump into ExoCAD to merge those. In ExoCAD software, I'm going to go ahead and create a work order. And typically in my work order, I've gone ahead and I've created a dummy file to allow me to go ahead and align pretty much anything. So I'm going to start my work order from the beginning so you see the step-by-steps of the specifics for the work order. First, click on the New button. I'm going to choose myself as the client, myself as the technician, and I'm going to choose Zest Alignment, which is the, the fake patient that I used to specifically align reference denture scans. If you don't have that fake patient, just go ahead and click this little pen icon, enter some name, click the new button, and now you've got that fake patient. Call him, him or her whatever you want, uh, but this is something that I use for alignment, uh, demo, a video, a reference denture. Put a few notes in there. Anytime that I do that, I wanna go ahead and click on the arch any tooth on the arch, I'm going to left click on tooth number 30, or if you're working in the European, that would be tooth number four, six. Click on adjacent tooth, stay healthy, and no virtual extraction, and click the OK button. I'm going to hold the control key on my keyboard and then click tooth number three on the opposite arch. It doesn't really matter which teeth you select for this technique, but in this particular example, I typically always use 30 and 3. Two stone models in occlusion should be default depending upon your version of ExoCAD, and then I click the Save button. Once I click Save, I'm now ready to go ahead into the next phase of the software. I click Design. Once I click Design, it opens up a window for me to go ahead and import the files. I click on the desktop, open up the folder where it has the scan files in place, and I'm going to start first with the reference denture scan. Open that folder up. And it's going to ask me here in this example, upper jaw scan. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my max CD since what I'm restoring is, is a maxillary standard complete denture opposing a mandibular locator case. And then I'm going to say lower jaw scan mandibular CD reference denture locators and pull that up. Expand my view. And now I've got my two scans in file in place. I can go ahead and visually see those. There we go. I'm going to jump right to the expert mode. Click on expert here at the top right, and here's my scans in occlusion. It's imperative that the reference denture scan is properly captured in occlusion for this technique to work in either ExoCAD or any other software package as well. In this particular example, that was set by my intraoral scanner. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and click on the tools button. Left click on add remove mesh. Select mesh type, which is a generic visualization mesh. And then I left click the load button. By doing so, I then navigate to the intraoral scan body mode, choose my mandibular intraoral scan bodies, 
And then when it pops up, I just say it doesn't really matter, but I'll say usually yes, it is relative to the scan data. In ExoCAD, you'll see here that I've got a yellow scan and then these kind of beige scans. The beige scans are the ones that I'm going to align to, where the yellow scan is the one that I just imported, which is the edential scan body for this particular patient. Using my mouse, I'm going to left click and hold and drag my intraoral scan over to the side. Right click, move it up and down. Because the goal now is, is I can, e I can even come up here to turn off the upper because all I really want to do is align just the lower. I'm going to take this and rotate this, hold control while I use my left click and rotate this around. So I toggle my control on and off and I'm going to position this into that appropriate position. If you have any trouble moving around on ExoCAD, make sure you go ahead and you go to the ExoCAD wiki on how to properly use the keyboard functions because holding control and rotating around is a wonderful tip that's really made ExoCAD use very efficient for me. Now, once I've orient these in the proper orientation, meaning it's looking like here is the occlusal surface, here is the intaglio. So if I was making an impression, this is how the two would look very similar. So here the tissue on the left matches the tissue on the right in that orientation. I then left click align meshes. Once I do so, I need to find anatomical positions that are similar between the original that I'm aligning to here on the left and then the floating mesh, which is the imported mesh that I want to align to this. Because the key of the reference denture is, is, is this is at the correct bite and the vertical dimension where this one needs to be aligned to the reference denture to give you centric, vertical, all of those goodies. So typically what I recommend doing is that I left click here, more or less right around where the retromolar pad is on each side. Usually I try to find a little bump like this little dot right in here. And there's a similar dot over on this side to align uh, the meshes. So that way there's something to grab onto. And then typically I find something here in the front. So usually just like right here at the middle of the ridge crest. Usually three points is sufficient. However, with the reference denture technique, I really recommend five or six points. This particular case will work well with five points because what I want to try to do is find some unique anatomy that'll be matching these two sides together. It could be a tori, it could be a bump of soft tissue, it could even be an implant itself. Since my scan here has scan bodies, and this is just the actual locators, I have to rely upon the soft tissue bumps to guide me. So like case in point, if I look really close, like right here, this little bumpy, little bumpy ridge right here in front of uh, tooth number 30, I have that similar appearance here on that impression. So I'm going to grab that here and then here. Good. And now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oh, look, here's a little depression right here, which is indicative of that tiny little bump right there. If I look at my reference denture scan, there it is. I'm going to take that bump, left click, and left click right there. So now I'm aligning those three key points, which is the two retromolar pads in the midline of the crest and those two additional accessory points. Let's see if it works. When I left click on perform alignment, it gets pretty darn close, everybody. But in ExoCAD, one of the powerful features is as I click on this perform alignment, then click on best fit matching, which will then give me a color map of the alignment. And if I get those happy colors, which is typically going to be the blues and the darker colors, that usually means a good alignment where red colors typically mean not so good alignment and purple means no alignment. So you can take a look at that and you can kind of rotate this around. You can even kind of like grab your little slider up here and kind of look at this and say, gosh, all right, do I have a pretty good alignment? And that's really the key of ExoCAD is I can slide this on, slide this up and down. The visualization of it doesn't need to be just from this orientation, folks. You can look at it from this orientation and say, gosh, do I think I can do better here? Nope, that one looks pretty darn good. If I really wanted to be on the safe side, it can come in here, click on this cut view icon, and then usually I click this button here to here to give it a, an idea of what the alignment looks like in a cross section. 
I want to verify that these little lines are kind of cross-sectioning over each other. But for the most part, that alignment looks pretty darn good. I left click the OK button and then I click on the OK button here and it'll give me a proper alignment. And the key to this technique now is, is that by using this dummy patient, I now have the orientation of the intraoral edentulous scan at the proper coordinate, meaning X, meaning the, pardon me, the Z, X, and then the Y axis in that correct orientation. So on top of it too, is I have the patient's teeth. Assuming the midline is correct, assuming the bite and the vertical is correct, I now can go ahead and export this new edentulous scan, which I did not scan the bite in the mouth. I can now align that to the patient's denture using the reference denture and export these three scans to now do a conventional design. To do so, I go ahead and start out with the, uh, the, the, the intraoral scan, right click anywhere in the purple, left click on save scene as, and I'm gonna export it here to the desktop. And under that patient, I'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, ExoCAD aligned scans. And then I'm going to create an STL file. So I click on the save as type drop down box, left click on plain STL file. And I'm gonna call this man jaw scan scan bodies because that's going to be my jaw scan that I'm gonna design my prosthesis on. Left click save, save visible objects, yes. And use the original coordinate system of the data. So that way we can go ahead and make it pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now at this point, I can turn off the intraoral line scan, export this denture. And technically I wouldn't necessarily have to do this, but I find this much simpler to go ahead and export these all into the same file, man, reference, denture, um, CD or whatever. Save intraoral visible objects. Yes, use original coordinate system. And then right click, turn, turning off all the other scans other than the upper. I'm gonna go ahead here, click on desktop. In that same folder, change it to STL file. And we're gonna call this max antagonist. Save visible objects. Yes, use a original coordinate system. A good way to check that you've done this properly is to open up Mesh Mixer software, or it can be any software. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the import functionality. Open up that folder, import all three of those files, open, and it will load them all as layers, giving me the opportunity to verify that my exported files are correct. And by doing so, I can click each individual one, turn the eyeball on and off, turn the eyeball on and off just to make sure. And then here's my CD. That should be matching what you see right in here. At this point, now that we have our three files in their own independent folder, we can import them into any CAD design software, ExoCAD or anything similar, to go ahead and conventionally design our locator fixed prosthesis with simplicity and ease. Yes, there's some other albeit arguably more efficient ways to do this. This produces those three clean STL files, very easy to work with and keeps your workflows very, very simple. This is Dr. Michael Shear with a training video on how to go ahead and utilize the reference denture scan and aligning in ExoCAD.